I'm going to give a basic overview of Elon Musk's Boring Company and the latest news behind their progress so far. The Boring Company, TBC for short, is a tunnel construction company founded by Elon Musk in 2016. TBC's goal is to solve traffic problems plaguing major cities such as LA and DC. How does TBC plan to solve traffic and does it seem possible? Let's find out. Welcome to Neoscribe, research in the future for you so you don't have to. If you're new to my channel, I cover topics such as space exploration, robotics, and all things future. So if you want to know how cool life will be like in the future, then hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out. Before we get started, let's talk about traffic. According to a 2015 article from Newsweek, the average urban commuter wastes about 42 hours a year stuck in traffic jams, and a Texas this Transportation Institute report estimates U.S. highway congestion costs $160 billion a year due to lost productivity, gas burn, and the additional wear and tear on vehicles. $160 billion, that's enough money to build the International Space Station and one Ford-class aircraft carrier. And the Boring Company wants to solve all of that. According to the TBC's website, in order to solve traffic problems, roads must go 3D, either through flying cars or by tunnels underground. TBC envisions a large network of tunnels many layers deep, allowing cars to travel throughout the city, solving traffic no matter how big and populated a city grows. In order to make their vision possible, they need to reduce the cost of creating tunnels. Tunnel projects are very expensive, some costing as much as $1 billion per mile. They plan to reduce tunneling costs by 1. Improving tunnel boring machine technology, 2. Improving tunneling methods, and 3. By cutting tunnel sizes in half. First, the Boring Company plans to develop electric powered boring machines that have triple the power along with upgrading their cooling systems. Second, TBC will tunnel using more efficient methods such as making boring machines autonomous and ensuring that they are working continuously compared to current methods where boring machines spend 50% of the time tunneling and the other 50% erecting tunnel support structures. And third, TBC will create one lane tunnels that are half as wide from 28 feet diameter down to 14 feet. By creating tunnels half the size, tunneling costs will be reduced by three to four times. Cars will park on electric skates, which are metal plates on wheels and propelled by an electric motor. The skates will stabilize the vehicle, allowing for travel in the smaller tunnel. And I think it's a fantastic concept. The skates will be versatile, able to transport cars, goods, and people. They will be fast, allowing you to travel through the city faster than subways, traveling at 125 miles an hour. On top of that, there will not be any stops. All trips will bring you to a main artery tunnel and then to your final destination. Since they are stabilized, they will eliminate human error. Lastly, they'll be free of emissions. Another interesting idea is that the Boring Company is investigating technologies that will allow them to recycle the expelled dirt into bricks to build structures instead of shipping the dirt to disposal locations, which is costly. Finally, TBC will be able to add vacuum shells to longer tunnels between major cities and use a hyperloop pod allowing you to travel long distances at over 600 miles per hour. So that all sounds great, but what has the Boring Company done so far. Starting in February 2017, TBC started digging a test trench on the property of SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne, California, where a permit was not required. On August 23rd, the city council in Hawthorne, California approved Elon Musk's plan for TBC to dig a two-mile test tunnel 44 feet underground, which extends the tunnel they started at SpaceX headquarters. The test will make sure that the basic parts of TBC's plan works. And on October 28th, Musk tweeted a picture of the tunnel, which is now 500 feet long and says that it should be two miles long in three to four months time. And TBC planned their first route which will run from LAX to Culver City, then to Santa Monica and end in Westwood. Musk claims that the tunnel trip will take five minutes compared to 45 minutes. Also, on October 2017, TBC obtained a utility permit from Maryland's Department of Transportation for the construction of a 35-mile tunnel between Penn Station in Baltimore and Washington Union Station. This tunnel will be for Hyperloop transportation. I think the Boring Company's vision for a vast network of tunnels is an awesome idea and I can't wait to see them complete the Hawthorne Test Tunnel in February or March. Whether they can reduce the cost of tunneling and make their vision become reality, we will have to wait and see. But I want to hear from you. Do you think Elon Musk and the Boring Company can solve traffic problems in the US? Comment below. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, please leave a like. And if you're interested in space exploration, robotics, and all things future, then join the Neoscribe tribe and subscribe. I am Neoscribe and this is the end of our journey.